we continue our discussion of eSmash Chapter 2 Sheet 2 with the subject of asking for and giving opinion. Hopefully with this discussion our understanding of the expressions asking for opinion and giving opinion becomes clearer and easier to understand. In this initial step, we start with a concept map, parse the concept of the expression asking for opinion and giving opinion, our task is to complete the empty map with the answers provided, the answers are related to asking for opinion and giving opinion. In the map image we can see the answer clue, namely in my opinion and the right answer to fill in question number one is giving opinion because the expression has a correlation with in my opinion. Then for answer number two related to asking for opinion and the right answer is do you have any ideas on? According to the clue given above what is the opinion about? Furthermore, the answer no relates to agree and disagree and the appropriate answer is a response to the opinion submitted agree or disagree. Next answer number four clue given is I totally agree with and the answer is agree. As for answers number five and six are answers from disagree and the answers provided are I don't agree with you for number five. And I am afraid I disagree for answer number six. While the answer number seven is the answer that partly agrees with the opinion and partly disagrees so partly agree. While the last answer eight is I do agree with you to an extent however. Asking for opinion and giving opinion in answering some questions and filling in tables and arranging sentences into a dialogue. Group A we answer five questions as follows. Question number one. What do you say when you want to ask for opinions about your favorite movie? Answer, what do you think about the best horror film? Question number two. What do you say when you want to give an opinion on climate change? Answer, I personally believe that it will give bad impact in social interaction. Question number three. What do you say when you want to ask for opinions on bullying? Answer, what is your opinion about bullying at your school? Question number four. What do you say when you want to give an opinion on how to stop bullying at school? Answer, my own view of the matter is making a plan about it with involving school stakeholders work hand in hand. Question number five. What do you say when you want to give an opinion on social media addiction among students? Answer, if I had my view, I would ask the student to make a money from it. informal tables about asking opinion, giving opinion, agree and disagree. Each column provides three answers, both formal and informal categories. We start from the formal expression of asking opinion. A. Would you give me your opinion on my presentation? B. What are your views on general election issue? C. Do you have any idea about it? Then we fill in the table of informal expressions from asking for opinion. A. What do you think about my android? B. What is your opinion about our class captain? C. How about the film we watch? Continuing with the expression formal giving opinion. A. I personally believe. B. I personally consider. C. I personally think that. Then with the expression informal giving opinion. A. I think I like it. B. I don't think much of it. C. In my opinion. Next for the formal agree expression. A. I couldn't agree more. B. I certainly agree with you. C. I fully support the idea. And informal agree expressions include. A. I agree. B. That's right. See you're right. Next is the formal disagree expression. A. That's absolutely not true. B. That's totally unacceptable. C. I think you're totally mistaken. And the informal disagree. A. Speak for yourself. B. Don't make me laugh. C. Are you kidding me? In part C the students must arrange the following sentences into a dialogue between Stephen and Kevin. If we look at the table above, the sentences grouped into Stephen and Diana are still not well structured, our task is to arrange the sentences above into a coherent and communicative dialogue, so that the order of the sentences is. 
Dialogue opened by Diana because Diana called Stephen. Good morning, it's Diana, and Stephen answered the call from Diana Stephen speaking. Good morning. Can I help you? And Diana asked how Stephen Good was. How are you, Stephen? And Stephen replied, Hi. How's life, Diana? Fine, are you ready to go back to school on Monday? Diana still doubts that Monday will go to school because the situation is still a pandemic. I am not sure. Is it safe for us to gather with other with other students in large number? We know the major sterilized all public school in the city but I am still not sure. What is your view on the situation? And Stephen gave an opinion that Diana would not hesitate. In my opinion, it might be safe but to be more safe. I think we must wear masks and keep to the health protocols. And finally Diana also answered that's a good point. Thank you for calming me down, Stephen. At this stage students are tested for their understanding of the use of the expressions asking for opinion and giving opinion contained in the dialogue by answering the questions given by each section. And there are three dialogues. Dialogue 1. Bill has just arrived at school when he gets a massage, and rushes to Eva's class. He finds her in tears. Bill, ha. Huh? What's wrong? Eva, ha. Huh? Some of my classmates sent me hurtful messages. They said that I must not come to school. I know I was infected by the coronavirus but now I am fine and free from the virus I told them, but they wouldn't listen. Bill. I think you should ignore their words, and talk to your homeroom teacher, call me whenever they treat you unfairly. Everything will be fine. Eva, I think you are right. The questions should be answered. 1. The correct expression to complete the dialogue is. A. Is it you? B. Can I go home? C. Will you come with me? D. What do you think? E. Can you bring me my medicine? Answer. D. What do you think? 2. According to the dialogue, what is the effect of the messages for Eva? A. Eva is thrilled. B. Eva is excited. C. Eva is jealous of Bill. D. Eva is sad and disappointed. E. Eva does not want to go to school. Answer. D. Eva is sad and disappointed. 3. What will Eva probably do next? A. She will go back home. B. She will go back to her class. C. She will tell her mother about it. D. She will go with Bill to talk to her friends. E. She will report it to her homeroom teacher. Answer. E. She will report it to her homeroom teacher. The following dialogue is for questions number 4 and 6. Dialogue 2. Mary, the president of student council, often finds a few students smoking in the corner of the school canteen. Dave. Ha. Huh? Mary. How's life? Mary. Ha. Huh? Dave. Fine. How are you? Dave. Good. What's up? Mary. Just now, I took some photographs of students smoking during lunch break. What is your opinion about this matter? Dave. In my opinion, you should talk to the principal that they are breaking the rules and they are harming themselves. Mary, no doubt about it. For the correct phrase to complete the dialogue is. A. I am personally. B. You are personally. C. I personally. D. You personally believe. E. You personally do not believe. Answer. D. You personally believe. 5. From the text we know that. A. Dave is worried about Mary. B. Mary is thrilled to find Dave. C. Dave does not know what to do next. D. Dave is concerned about his own safety. E. Mary does not know what to do so she asks Dave's opinion. Answer. E. Mary does not know what to do so she asks Dave's opinion. 6. They are harming themselves. The underlined word can be replaced by. A. Hurting. B. Helping. C. Trusting. D. Protecting. E. Believing. Answer, hurting. The following dialogue is for questions number 7 to 10. 
In this part you will listen long dialogue about Anna and Phil so listen it carefully and then you must answer four questions. Dialogue 3 Anna, hello. Are you okay? You seem nervous. Phil, well, this is my first visit to Washington DC. I'm from a small town in the country. I feel a little lost. Anna, I am from the country too. And I understand. When I first came here, I feel lost all the time. Phil, so, do you like living in the country or in the city? Anna, I like to live in the city. Phil, why? Anna, personally, I think the city is exciting. It has more culture than the country. There are many museums and restaurants. Every night, there is theater and music. There are also more jobs. This is why I'm here. Phil, well, I see your point. There is more culture in the city and there might be more jobs. But the country has more nature. It's peaceful and beautiful. There are more trees and mountains. The air is clean. You can go hiking and camping. The city is not beautiful. It's noisy and dirty. Anna, I disagree. I truly feel all the different buildings are beautiful and I like to watch all the different people. Phil, that's another thing that is different. People in the country are friendly. They always say hello. Here, no one says hello I think city people are rude. Anna, well agree. Country people are friendly. But I don't think city people are rude. I think they re just busy. Phil, that's a good point. Anna, look at me. I live in the city and I said hello to you. Phil, but you are from the country. Anna, I have an idea. Let's say hello to people, to many people. Phil, what? Why? Anna, well, if we say hello maybe they will say hello to other people, hello. Phil, and they will say hello to more people. That's a great idea. Anna. Come on. Let's go say hell to people. Phil, we don't have to agree with people. They have their opinions. We have ours. And as we like to say, you can always agree to disagree. Question 7 to 10. 7. Why do you think Anna said hello to Phil? A. She is afraid of Phil. B. She is Phil's best friend. C. She wants to ask for help. D. She is concerned about Phil. E. She wants to sell something. Answer, D. She is concerned about Phil. 8. I am from the country too. What does the underlined mean? A. A rural area. B. A busy town. C. A new country. D. A crowded city. E. A foreign country. Answer, A. A rural area. 9. From the text we know that. A. Phil loves the city. B. Anna and Phil just met. C. Anna is new to the city life. D. Anna and Phil are best friend. E. Phil has lived in the city his whole life. Answer, D. Anna and Phil are best friend. 10. Well, I see your point. There is more culture in the city and there might be more jobs. But the country has more nature. It is peaceful and beautiful. What does Phil mean by saying that? A. He does not like Anna's point of view. B. He totally agrees with Anna's opinion. C. He partly agrees with Anna's opinion. D. He likes Anna's opinion about the city. E. He totally disagrees with Anna's opinion. Answer. C. He partly agrees with Anna's opinion. Read the dialogue and answer the questions. Dialogue. Bill and Dave are sitting on a bench under a big tree next to the schoolyard. They look so serious. Dave, I'm telling the truth. This morning one of my school friends threatened me. He demanded money. He also asked me to buy cakes and food for 20 people to celebrate his birthday this weekend but I said no. Bill, good. You are so brave. That's the right thing to do. Dave. Bill, I think I know whom you are talking about. I had the same experience. He demanded I buy him shoes last month but I refused.
Personally I believe it is a crime so you should talk to your homeroom teacher to prevent others becoming his next victims. Dave, I couldn't agree more. Bill, you re not on your own. Nothing to worry about. Based on the dialogue above answer the following questions. Question number one. What is the correct expression to complete the dialogue? Answer, what is your opinion about his threatened? Question number two. What kind of relationship do Dave and Bill have? Answer, they are classmates. Question number three. What can you conclude about Dave's problem? Answer, he gets bullied from another classmate. Question number four. What is Dave's response to Bill's opinion? Answer, he feels so doubt to tell it to his homeroom teachers. Question number five. What is your opinion on Bill's and Dave's problem? How would you should solve it? Answer, they have the same problem that is being blackmailed by their classmates. I think they must see their homeroom teacher to stop it. Topics. Choose one of the following topics. Give your opinion about the topic and write a dialogue about it. Online classes. How to make a fun English class. Planting mangrove. I think when you write down your dialogue, you should do some steps so your dialogue will be more interesting. A. Give a clear description where the dialogue take a place, when they talk the topic. B. Open your dialogue with smooth greeting. C. Declare the issue or topic that you choose. D. Use the expression of asking for opinion as the characteristic of your dialogue. E. Use the wonderful expression of giving opinion as the social interaction. F. Give a suitable response.